Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Windows Fixer, where we don't waste your time with fluff, just real fixes that actually work. So if your Windows updates are throwing tantrums, maybe it's refusing to download, getting stuck forever, or hitting you with weird error codes like 0x808-70422, 0x8024A105, or even that classic 0xc1900101, yeah, I've been there. Today, I've got you covered with a full walkthrough to fix all kinds of update issues, whether you're on Windows 10 or 11. No random guesswork, just solid methods explained in plain English. Let's not drag this, jumping straight in. All right, first thing, let's check if Windows Update Services are even running properly. Sounds simple, but trust me, sometimes the whole issue is just one of these not doing its job. So here's what you do. Type services.msc and hit enter. That opens the services window. Now scroll around or honestly just click on any service and start pressing W on your keyboard till you land on Windows Update. Once you're on it, right click and hit properties. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic, then hit apply. If it's not running already, click start and let it fully spin up. When it's running, just click OK and move on. Now we do the same for the second one, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, AKA BITS. Right click Properties again, set the startup type to Automatic, hit Apply, and even if it says Running, go ahead and stop it first, then start it again, just to refresh it. Then, as usual, hit OK. Last one, Cryptographic Services, press C till you land on it, open properties and repeat the same drill. Set to automatic, apply, start if it stopped, hit okay. Basically we're making sure all three of these background services are actually up and running the way they should be. Sometimes this alone does the trick. Windows just needed a little nudge. If your updates start working after this, nice, you're good. If not, no worries, we're just getting started, keep going. All right, now let's move on to a proper Windows Update reset. This one's a little advanced, but super safe, and it works like a charm when updates just won't go through. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm opening up Notepad and typing in all the commands we need to stop update services, rename the cache folders, and restart everything from scratch. You could run these commands one by one in command prompt, and that works totally fine too but I like bundling them into a single .bat file so everything runs in one go. <laughs> it's just easier. Now that I've got all the commands in, I'll save the file. Give it any name. I'm calling it something like windows-component-fix.bat. Make sure to change save as type to all files, otherwise it won't work properly. Once that's saved, just right click the batch file and choose run as administrator. Let it do its thing, it'll stop the update related services, clear out those buggy cache folders, and then restart everything fresh. Basically, it's like a deep breath for Windows Update, wiping the junk and giving it a clean start. Once that's done, go back and try checking for updates again. Most of the time, this method gets things back on track. And yeah, don't worry, I'll include the full list of commands in the video description if you wanna run them manually instead of using a batch file. Still stuck? Let the built-in troubleshooter take a swing. All right, so if updates are still acting weird, don't sleep on the built-in troubleshooter. <laughs> yeah, I know, we usually ignore these, like, uh, it's not gonna help, right? But seriously, in 2025, Windows 11's troubleshooters have gotten smarter. They actually give you more detailed feedback and diagnose stuff more precisely than the old ones ever did. So here's what you do. Hit Windows I to open settings, or just search for it through start, then go to System, Troubleshoot, Other Troubleshooters. Now first, run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Let it go through its checks. It usually resets services, checks the registry, and all that background stuff. But don't stop there. Scroll down and look for Background Intelligent Transfer Service, or BITS. Now, here's what's new in 2025. When you click to run it, it'll actually prompt you with something like, we can help diagnose your problem by running the BITS Troubleshooter. Just hit yes, and Windows will start the scan. Let it run, it might take a minute, and you'll see live feedback during the process. So just chill and let it finish. 
If something's wrong with how Windows is downloading updates in the background, this troubleshooter is your best shot at catching it. Next up, system file check, because corrupted files love to ruin everything. Run command prompt as in min and type this, sfc slash scan now. This will scan and fix any corrupted system files. It can take a while, so go grab a snack. Once that's done, we'll go a step deeper with these DISM commands. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash check health. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Let each one finish properly. After it's all done, reboot and check if updates are working. By the way, I'll provide all these commands in the description as well. Apply Sam as I'm doing. There's also a detailed video on my YouTube channel. I'll mention that in the description too. Actually, we'll help you to understand how these commands work and its machines. So check that out too. If updates are stuck at 0% or pending forever. Okay. This one's for those moments when Windows says it's updating, but literally nothing moves. Go to this folder, see Windows software distribution, download, and just delete everything inside. <laughs> These are just leftover update files, not system files. So you're not breaking anything. Then restart your PC and give the updates another shot. Quick check, is your connection metered? Yep, Windows skips downloading updates on metered networks by default. Go to settings, network and internet properties. Look for the metered connection option and turn it off if it's on. <sighs> Simple but easily missed. VPN or antivirus might be messing things up. Not always, but if you're using third party antivirus or running a VPN, just pause both for a bit and retry the update. Some of these tools can block Microsoft's update servers in the background without even telling you. And yeah, if nothing works, time to refresh Windows the easy way. This is like your final boss move. You can use the Windows Media Creation tool to do an in place upgrade. It keeps all your files and apps, but reinstalls the core Windows system files. Or if you're cool with starting fresh, just go to settings, system, recovery, reset this PC. You can pick the keep my files option too, so you're not nuking everything. That's a wrap. All right, so that was the full guide. <laughs> uh, from simple fixes to heavy duty stuff, everything you need to sort out Windows update errors in one place. Let me know in the comments which step worked for you. And if you're still stuck, drop your error code. I'll try to help out where I can. If this helped you out, hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you're into solving tech problems the clean way. No BS, just fixes. Catch you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>